Hello Year 9, Miss Constable here to talk you through food preparation and nutrition at GCSE. So, food preparation and nutrition is an exciting and creative course which focuses on practical cooking skills to ensure students develop a thorough understanding of nutrition, food provenance and the working characteristics of food materials. At Key Stage 3, you would have already looked at food nutrition and health, food science, food safety, food choice and food provenance. You would have looked at it as a basic understanding and in GCSE you would develop that understanding into a deeper level. So let's take a look at your journey through Key Stage 4. In Year 10 we will focus on three topics, food choice, food provenance and food science. You will complete some mock examinations in order to prepare you for your Year 11 coursework. In year 11, you will start with two assignments, your NEA 1, which is a food investigation, NEA 2, food preparation and assessment, and then finally you will complete your written exam before going on to your post 16 option. So taking a look at the NEA 1, this is a food investigation. You will get set a question by the exam board and this will account for 30 marks of your grade. You will be assessed on your research, investigation and analysis and invest evaluation. You will carry out several investigations to prove a theory using your knowledge and understanding of food science. NEA 2, this is your food preparation assessment, which is worth 70 marks. This will be set by the exam board again, where you will get a question. From this, you will carry out research of the task. You will then demonstrate skills through technical demonstration. You will then plan for a final menu and then have a three hour practical exam making your final dishes. After this, you will an analyze, analyze and evaluate your dishes. Finally, we have the written exam, which is carried out in the hall, and this accounts for 100 marks, which is half of your grade. You will be assessed on the five core sections, food nutrition and health, food science, food safety, food choice and food provenance. This is an hour and 45 minute exam, 50% of your GCSE, and you will have a range of multiple choice questions which will account for 20 marks, and then five questions with a number of sub questions which will account for the last 80 marks. So what can you do with this qualification? Well, as most of you know, Cooking is a complete life skill that you need in your future life. It's very fun, it's very exciting and something that you will always do. However, if you choose to go into higher learning, there are various different options that you can take. Most students go on to be a chef, work in the hospitality and catering industry or even food and nutrition. If you wanted to go into more technical jobs, you could look at food medicine, market research, child nutritionist, flavour scientist, food packaging designer or food inspector. Either way, there are various, various routes that you can take with your food qualification. Hi, I'm Talia and I chose to study food preparation and nutrition because it is something I enjoy doing in my free time and I find it fun. One section of the subject is practical. This is where you are taught to prepare and cook meals in a safe environment to a high standard and serve dishes. The other section of the subject is theory. This is where you are taught a deep understanding of the nutrition of food, how they are produced and methods of cooking. You will be taught these skills during your lessons when cooking and evaluating your dishes. There are different aspects to this subject including all maths, English, science, art and creativity, allowing it to be inclusive to everybody. There are many different industries that you can enter with food tech, from a nutritionist to a food stylist to a sous chef, and it's definitely something you should consider choosing.